Okay, let's understand what's going on here with the configuration. If you remember what we did in the previous course, we had a web.xml with a couple of things here. So you see here, there is this Jersey web application that's set up by a sublet. So we created a sublet, which pointed to a class called sublet container, which set the application up, okay? The second thing that happened here is the init param, which told the application where the resource classes are. You know that the resource classes are classes mapped with the add path annotation. So you had something which told Jersey where to look for those resource classes. And the third thing there was mapping to a particular URL pattern, right? So this sublet mapped to web API slash star. So we know all our rest APIs are exposed at slash web API slash star. Okay, so these are the three things that happened over there. Now, what are we doing here with this new approach? We have an application, right? It's a class which extends the base Java X WSRS core application. Now the extension itself defined your application, right? So you created a class in your class path, which extended this application class. Now this is all Jersey needs to define your application, right? The second thing was where our resources are. So right now we don't have that configuration. It looks at all the classes in your class path. And if there's a class which has an add path annotation, it picks it up. And the third thing is the URL where your APIs are mapped to. And that's this annotation, application path annotation with web API. So this is the equivalent of mapping a sublet to slash web API slash star. So basically it picks all the resources in your class path and exposes them at web API slash onwards. Okay, so these are the three things, and it's. Uh, I hope you agree that this is a significantly simpler way of doing the same configuration. Okay, now let's look at application, right? If you look at the Java docs for application, you see here, the class application defines the components of a JAX RS application and supplies additional metadata. What's the additional metadata we are supporting here? It's this web API. Okay, a JAX RS application or implementation supplies a concrete subclass of this abstract class. So what we see here as application is actually an abstract class. And what we have as my app is a concrete subclass of this abstract class. Even though this class is abstract, there are no methods to implement, right? We don't have any methods here. However, there are methods that you could implement. There are a couple of methods here. One is called get classes. Now the get classes method gets a set of root resources for your class. Now we didn't specify what resources we want configured in our JAXRS application. Like I said, it just does a class path scan, gets all the resources that have been mapped with the add path annotation. However, if you want to exclude some resources or just include certain resources, you could implement the get classes method in this class. Okay, so let's say you want to implement the get classes method. You would basically override the default implementation. And then here, what you do is you return the set of classes that you need. Okay, so I'm going to return And let's say I return nothing, right? So basically this overrides what application does by default and there are no resources registered. If I want only certain resources registered, so I create a new set of classes and then add the classes that I want, okay? So this is how you override the default behavior and exclude certain classes if you want. But if you don't implement this by default, all the classes in the class path that have the add annotation, the add path annotation are going to get considered. So there's other methods here, which are get singleton, get properties that we are not going to look at at this time. We're going to revisit that later. But uh, this hopefully gives you an idea of what's happening here. This application is an abstract class that you're providing a concrete implementation of. And this with the annotation is all you need to bootstrap a JAXRS application.